falling, falling, falling for you. Maybe I'm falling, 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 falling for you. guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another reaction this one was not requested but i'm going to go ahead and check it out so we're back on the door from zach russian i know y'all love him but i love him too so we're going to react to another one from him so we have zach russian with why i am the way i am tongue twister <laughs> so guys if you are watching please make sure you like comment subscribe turn your post notifications comment down below any more suggestions that we're gonna get right on into the video let's go pretty much on a daily basis about how I got my mentality, how I got the cutthroat mentality to never take crap from anybody, to never back down from a challenge and to help people. There was one instance that happened in my life that made me how I am. My junior year of college, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. Okay, I'm playing football and all of a sudden my body just starts to deteriorate. I was out in Wyoming. I was at the University of Wyoming playing ball. I'm 27 hours from the house and I had the biggest burden that could ever be bestowed on anyone bestowed on me. And there was two ways that you can approach this. You can rather curl up into a little ball and just be scared as hell and, it, and let it defeat you. Or you can get mad and go right at it and fight it with everything you got and show that there's nothing in this world that you can't get through with the power of friendship and God. And which is exactly what I did. And it all kind of came to a head when I was taking my treatments out at MD Anderson in Houston. I was out there and I was taking my second or third round of radiation. And I'm, I'm in the waiting room waiting to go in for the fourth. And... I'm just sitting there and I'm feeling so down on myself because I'm scrolling through Facebook and I'm sitting there watching all this stuff. All my all my buddies, this was in July, all my buddies are going to the river and they're going to the islands and they're going to the cookouts and they're bowling crawfish and they're having fun and playing softball and doing all this. And I kind of got down on myself. Like, man, poor, poor, pitiful me. It started hanging my head. And it was like on cue when that happened. A wheelchair came past me. It was a young kid, maybe eight or nine years old, that this kid was just ate up with radiation. I mean, bald burns on their face. It, it put, it humbled me because at that instance, no matter how bad I was down on myself, I, I, I felt at that instance that if I had the ability to take that sickness away from that kid, I would take it. I would take that right. I would take their burden just to let them have a life. Cause at that point in my life, I was 25. I had done lived a decent life. This child had not had any kind of a chance to live a life yet. And it's exactly what I carried on with me for the rest of my life. Another instance that happened, and all this happened to MD Anderson's Cancer Hospital in Houston. I was out there and I was outside waiting on the bus because they were about to take me back to my hotel. And this little boy come up and sat beside me. And you could tell he just got done with radiation and this, that, and the other. He was kind of down. and He wasn't down on himself, but he was tired. I mean, it takes a lot out of you. And at that time, I was still kind of feeding off of seeing that little that little girl get wheeled past me. And I just, I had to try to lift his spirits a little bit, which I was hurting my damn self. Okay. I looked over at him and I noticed that he had a baseball cap on. And you could tell it was one of the, it must have been his little league team or something like that. And he had a glove and a ball and he's just tossing that glove back, that ball back and forth in that glove. And he... He's just sitting there just kind of defeated. I looked over at him. I said, buddy, you like baseball? And he perked up. And he, as soon as I said baseball, a kid perked up. And he just looked at me and said, yes, sir, I love baseball. I said, are you any good? He said, I've made all-stars every year since I've played. He's, and he kind of paused for a second. He looked back at me. He said, I'm going to miss this year because of these treatments. And he said, I, I always remember this this quote. He said, but them some bitches better watch out next year. Now, this is a 10-year-old kid, maybe, who is literally fighting the same battle that I'm fighting with this cancer. And he's got the mentality that I aspire to have, which is, this thing ain't going to defeat me. I'm going to get back out there. I'm going to get to do what I love. That kid by himself inspired me to use my blessings in life in order to help kids with cancer, which is why I, my, with my brand and Triple B and the Bass, Bucks, and Birds stuff, and the Facebook page, and the YouTube channel, and all that type of stuff, we always try to raise money for kids with cancer. We're trying to lift their spirits. If they're having to go through that, they deserve something in the hospital in order to lift their spirits. Because you can't motivate a kid the same way you motivate an adult. An adult's got to get back to work. 
They got to provide for their family. They got bills. They got this, that, and the other. The kid don't have that. So the only way to motivate a child to want to fight another day is give them something that they want to play with the next day, which is exactly what our charity does. We find kids who are battling cancer, especially around Christmas time. We buy them the number one toy off of their list. And we say it's from Santa. We don't want the credit. It's from Santa. And it could be, we bought Xbox 360s. We bought Wilson A2000 baseball gloves. We bought this one little girl a $760 uh, Lego set for a Barbie dream house or a castle or so. I don't know. I, I had to carry it in because it was heavy. Sarah couldn't lift it. But that type of mentality really, really, really has made me a better person for the fact that now I understand that it's not just about me in this life. I'm using my blessings in order to bless other people. And the more people that do that, the better off this world's going to be. Because if, believe it or not, you might be down on yourself. You might see that the grass is greener on the other side. But instead of trying to get over there, why don't you just water your own lawn? You know what I'm saying? Use your blessings because everybody, everybody watching this video right now is blessed in one way, shape, or form. You'd rather have a good job. You're not hungry. You have a roof over your head. You have a great family. You have a great friend. You have a great partner in life. It doesn't matter what it is. We're all blessed. Figure out some kind of way to use your blessings and bless other people. And I promise you, the feeling that you're going to attain from that is uncomparable to anything else in this world because I don't even want anything in life anymore. I just want to make sure that all of the people that I love, which is everybody, is taken care of. Amen. That's how I got the mentality that I got. You can't run from any kind of obstacle in life. You always have to push forward on it. You have to go through it. Don't try to go around Amen. it. Don't try to tunnel underneath it. Don't try to get a lift over it. Go through it. Because when you emerge on the other side, not only have you conquered whatever it is that was trying to hurt you, you're stronger and a better person for it. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the rant, but I get this message all the time and I have to let people know that the biggest reward in life is not the money, it's not the fame, it's not the fancy cars or the new bows and rifles or getting to go on these hunting trips or anything like that. The biggest reward in life is knowing that you spent your time for no reason other than just it's what you wanted to do to help another person. That right there the is what's going to make America yourself. great again. Nothing but that. Just take a step back. Realize that you're important, but other people are too. I love all y'all. She. Oh, Zach got me with another one. This one was actually great. I enjoyed it. Wow, but it is true though. Because like you said, you never know. Somebody might be worse off than you and you complaining. And you look, that person could be 10 times worse than you. So humble yourself, take a breath, sit back, reevaluate how you see life and your life and think, what can I do or how can I be a blessing to the next person? It don't have to be anything money-wise. It could just be um, saying hi or it could just be drawing a picture. It could be just doing something small to help lift their spirits and lessen their load and just put a smile on their face you could be going grocery shopping for the person you you, you never know what somebody like it's the little things in life that counts the most and that i totally agree with hmm. this was a good one zach Russia got me got me got me got me but i never knew he had cancer and it's great to watch this video and find that out Thank God he overcome that. And he's doing good. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and enjoyed this video. Give me a like. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I post. And until next time, we're out of here. Peace.